Look at the yield. We were just looking at the 10-year, Ryan, now at 2%. Um, and every time this 10-year yield has hit 2%, we had a big sell-off in growth stocks. But you think that the recent sell-off in growth uh, is, is really the story, not a broader market sell-off. What do you make of yields, uh, the 10-year being up five basis points right now to 2%? I mean, it's still really low, right? I mean, you go back to 2017, 2018, we were at two and a half percent, and stocks did really, really well. Furthermore, it's it's well below what inflation is, right? And if inflation's at over seven percent, and we only have two percent on the ten-year Treasury, that's still cheap, cheap money, as far as I'm concerned. Now, I hate to go against Dennis Gardner, but you know, I, and I think you're right, Dennis. I mean, if you look at growth stocks, they've gotten hammered here, and they could be in a bear market, but. I mean, we'll look at the rest of the market right now. I mean, value stocks are only down 2% for the year. Um, any stock that has pricing power here is still doing or holding up really, really well. Like take Caterpillar, for instance, you know, the largest maker of farm equipment, uh, heavy machinery in the world. Well, you know, their customers that are in commodity businesses are doing well, right? They're, they're doing well. Their customers are doing well. So they're able to send their prices up higher. Uh, their customers are able to take those higher prices and, like, you know, their earnings were up over 17% more than was expected the last two quarters. So, you know, a lot of companies are going to benefit from these higher interest rates. The fact that the economy is getting better, um, contrary to popular belief, you know, by summertime, we're going to see huge demand in spending. So I think the worst place you want to be right now is cash, because if inflation's 7 7.5%, you're losing against purchasing power 7% of your money. Meanwhile, if you look at dividends specifically, dividends have outpaced inflation for the, since 1950. So, you know, if you have dividends going up by, let's say, 5.5% a year on average for the last 50 years plus, uh, and on the flip side, you have uh, inflation at 3.5%, you know, the only real hedge you have are assets that are productive that are growing. So I don't think you want to be in cash here. Yeah. Um, growth stocks, yes, might be dangerous, but, you know, value looks good. You got to be invested here. You know I'm wildly bullish here, Maria.